Hello my dear students welcome back to English literature class Students today we are going to start chapter number 17 as it is a poem Wandering Singers written by Surojini Naidu Students the poem Wandering Singer written by Surojini Naidu is about the band of folk singers wander from town to town and from village to village to spread the message of love through their singing the wandering singers have no dreams or hopes of their own they go wherever the wind calls them fine so students now i'm going to start the first stanza of this poem where the voice of the wind calls our wandering feet through a coing forest and a coing street with lutes in our hands our singing we roam all men are our kindred the world is our home so students see in the first stanza the wandering singers say that they roam where the voice of the wind calls their feet calling the wandering feet means asking them to accompany the wind in other words they wander wherever the wind goes the wandering singers travel through the echoing forest and the echoing street lutes in their hands and always keep singing here echoing forest means the villages which are full of hustle and bustle similarly echoing street refers to the cities so students according to the wandering singer all the humans on earth are their family and the whole world is their home in other words they do not have a family of their own or even a home they rather consider themselves to be the citizen of the world so students moving on the next stanza our lays are of cities whose luster is shed the laughter and beauty of women long dead the sword of old battles the crown of old kings and happy and simple and sorrowful things see students the wandering singers tell us that their songs are about the cities whose glory had faded fine luster is sh- shed means their shine has lost they also sing of laughter and beauty of women who died long ago they sing of sword of old battles that means wars and battles and also of kings their rules and their time and also they sing of happy simple and even sorrowful things which means they sing of past as well as present they sing of those who are gone long ago and also of the present now moving on the last stanza what hope shall we gather what dreams shall we sow where the wind calls our wandering footsteps we go no love bids a starry no joy bids a sweet the voice of the wind is the voice of our fate see students in the last stanza the wandering singers then raise a rhetorical question they wonder what hope and dreams they should have hope and dreams are for those who think of achieving something but do not have any desire hence they do not have dreams fine where the wind calls our wandering footsteps we go they go wherever the wind goes the love never leaves them they always feel loved by the nature 
so no joy bits us wait that means the joy never makes them for it they always enjoy because the voice of the wind is the voice of their fate that means the fate of the wind is their fate as well so students thank you have a wonderful day